The Specialized S-Works Tarmac SL7 is a bike designed with one purpose, to perform on both climbs and flat roads without compromise. Starting with the ride itself, this bike combines aerodynamics and lightweight design. This combination might sound technical, but it essentially means you don't have to worry about choosing between a bike that's fast on flat terrain and one that's easy to climb with. The Tarmac SL7 is meant to handle both effortlessly. So, if you're someone who tackles all kinds of terrain in one ride, this bike will keep up with you. One of the main selling points here is that this bike is compliant with UCI weight regulations, meaning it's optimized to be as light as possible while still adhering to official standards. That's important because a lot of racing bikes that aim to be fast sometimes feel bulky or harder to manage when it comes to climbing. With this bike, that's not a problem. The components on the Tarmac SL7 are also top of the line. This bike comes with Shimano's Durarace group set. This includes the shift levers, the derailleur, the cassette, and other crucial parts. The Durarace line is Shimano's high-performance set, so what you're getting is reliability and efficiency. This group set is known for its smooth shifting, even under pressure. When climbing or sprinting, shifting gears is easy and responsive. There's no lag, which matters a lot in race scenarios where even a second's delay can affect performance. The disc brakes are also Durace, and they offer strong stopping power, which feels consistent and dependable. That's reassuring on a bike this fast. You can go downhill or hit higher speeds on flat roads without worrying about not being able to control your stops. The bike is fitted with Roval Rapide CLX wheels. They're designed to match the aerodynamic shape of the frame, so they cut through the air without creating a lot of drag. These wheels also have an internal width of 21 millimeters, which gives a bit of extra stability on the road. I noticed that the wheels felt steady even when there was a crosswind, which usually isn't the case with deeper wheels. They're paired with turbo cotton tires, which have a smooth rolling feel and good grip. The tires are 26 millimeters wide, a size that's becoming more common as it gives a bit more cushion on rough roads without sacrificing speed. These tires help with overall ride comfort, so even if you're on less than perfect pavement, the bike doesn't feel jarring. The seat and handlebar setup are also worth noting. The saddle is the S-Works Power Saddle, which has carbon rails to reduce weight and improve durability. This saddle has a shape designed for comfort, especially over long distances. It's wide enough to offer support, but not so wide that it interferes with pedaling efficiency. The handlebars are made from Roval's Rapide model, which is designed to be aerodynamic, but also ergonomic. When I rode with this setup, I noticed it was easy to grip and felt comfortable in different hand positions, whether I was climbing or descending. The Tarmac SL7 also has a clean cockpit design, meaning the cables are hidden for a sleek look. This doesn't just add to the bike's aesthetics. It also improves aerodynamics slightly and keeps everything organized. One area where the Tarmac SL7 stands out is in its adaptability. Specialized made sure this bike can handle different configurations, so you can use it with traditional round handlebars, a mechanical shifting system, or other setups if needed. The cable routing is designed to work with all these options without creating extra drag. This adaptability is nice for anyone who prefers customization. It's also helpful if you like to do your own maintenance or if you travel with your bike, as the simple design means fewer complications when packing or reassembling. The Tarmac SL7's weight is another big plus. The frame itself is around 800 grams, which is very light for a racing frame, especially one that includes all the aerodynamic features specialized added. When you add up the frame, wheels, and other components, the bike stays close to the UCI weight limit, meaning it's as light as it can legally be for competition. The benefit of this weight is obvious on climbs. With less weight to push up the hill, climbing feels efficient and manageable. The lighter weight also makes handling quick and responsive, which helps with cornering and maneuvering in races or group rides. On top of that, the power meter included on the Tarmac SL7 is a real advantage for training. The power meter lets you monitor how much force you're putting into the pedals. It's accurate and gives a clear picture of your effort, helping you train more effectively. For serious riders, this is a valuable tool for improving performance and tracking progress. The power meter is built into the crankset, and since it's Shimano's Durarace model, it works seamlessly with the rest of the components. I found that it was easy to read and didn't require much adjustment to get accurate readings. In terms of durability, 
The Tarmac SL7 feels built to last. Specialized is known for making durable frames, and this one is no different. The carbon material is high quality, and the construction feels solid. While this is a race bike and not meant for rough trails, it handles typical road wear well. The wheels, tires, and saddle also seem designed with longevity in mind, which is reassuring given the price point. For regular road use, you won't need to worry about replacing parts frequently as long as you maintain it well. Maintenance on this bike is relatively straightforward. Specialized has designed it to be user-friendly, meaning you don't have to go to a bike shop for every little adjustment. The simple routing system for the cables makes repairs and adjustments easier, and the overall design is easy to work with. If you're someone who likes to do your own bike work, this is a feature you'll appreciate. It's also great for travel because the design means fewer adjustments when reassembling the bike after transport.